god, look at this. Look at this, you gotta check this out. It says, I am soap nakha, means I am soap and nothing else. Skies in a state of chronic apathy. Clouds above, clouds in my feet. Virgin for a glimpse of sunshine. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ty Farm. Today, I'm at the Jatu Chat Weekend Market, also known as the JJ Market. Apparently, this is the biggest weekend market in Thailand. Wanna see what they got? Lego! How do I keep on breathing? This market is happening. There's so much going on. They're selling everything. Anything you can think of, you can probably find it at this market. It's huge. It's not like any other weekend market I've been to. This is a place where you could literally shop till you drop. You can spend easily an entire day here, maybe even a couple, because it's just, it's like a maze. Everything is just all over the place. There's food in every corner. There's little stores or restaurants set up. There's exotic fruits, drinks. People from all over the world come here. I hear people speaking all different languages. Really cool place. People just advertising the foot massages. I'm sure a lot of people get tired of walking so much, so they go in and relax a little bit, pamper themselves. It's starting to rain. It's starting to sprinkle. Oh no. Apparently, according to the very confusing map, it's divided into 27 different sections, but honestly, I'm walking around and everything's just all over the place. It feels like a big maze. I'm like a rat in a maze. I'm just so lost. But it doesn't matter because everywhere you go, it's new, it's refreshing. But actually, get lost. Get lost in here because that's the best experience, you know, because this market is so big, you need to get lost. There's nothing we can't do. Storm's coming in fast. Let the snow fall down. Not All the vendors here are just so aggressive, you know? Don't get offended because they're just trying to make a living. They're just, everyone's just yelling and it's just a, a big market. That's what I love about it, the, the culture, the vibe. Everyone's just so aggressive and selling and buying and, you know, they're not yelling at you. They're just trying to make a sale. Winter storm, you're my city. weather it's like it doesn't want to make up its mind it sprinkles and then it stops and then it sprinkles which is good I, I just I'm glad it's not pouring down not yet anyway all right so I've come inside the, the inside section of the market because it started pouring rain outside hopefully the rain dies down so I can go find some food Alright, so the rain hasn't stopped. It's died down a little bit, but it hasn't stopped. So I'm just gonna get something to eat anyways, because I'm starving. These look really interesting. I saw them cooking up these little pancakes. They're just grilling them. They have sticky rice and coconut pieces inside with coconut milk, sugar, and salt. Mm. Very sweet. Now, they said that's got some salt in there as well, but I don't taste any salt, so it must be very little. Nice and soft. That sticker rice kind of gives it that nice chewy texture. The outside's a little bit kind of golden brown. It's not crispy, it's just nice and spongy. And then that beautiful coconut aroma. Not only the coconut pieces, but the coconut milk is so rich with coconut flavor. Now, I'm gonna try the purple one. It's the same flavor, but it's just a different color. Mm. Yeah. Tastes the same, just looks different. Nice coconut flavor with a sweetness to it. And those coconut pieces, really distinct coconut taste. It's just the flesh of the coconut from the inside of the coconut. They kind of scrape it out and just put it into this pancake. Beautiful. All right, it's finally stopped raining. I can actually come out and look for some more food. So I got my coconut ice cream from Coco JJ. It actually comes with some coconut water as well. You get a scoop of coconut ice cream and then you get two toppings that you can choose from. I went with the red bean and the mung bean, which is that yellow bean right there. What's cool about it is that they use this coconut as a bowl and then they scoop out the meat in the coconut so you can eat it with your ice cream. I'm guessing the coconut water came from this coconut, so it's free with your order. I love coconut water. Ah. Nice and refreshing. This ice cream looks delicious. Smell the coconut, coconut flavor. I'm mean, gonna try this coconut ice cream on its own. Look at that, yeah. You can see the steam coming out of it. It's so cold. 
Mm. Nice. Actually not very sweet. It's a very rich coconut taste. Kind of coconut milk and it's just nice and cold. I like that because it's not too sweet. You know, people would think ice cream is very sweet, but it's actually not too bad. Let's get some taste of the mung bean with the coconut ice cream. The mung bean kind of just gives it a, a nice texture, you know, a chewy texture. It gives you something to kind of chew and kind of just separates the two. And then let's try some of the red bean with the coconut ice cream. Mm. That red bean is a little bit more distinct with that beanish flavor. And then that, this flesh, the coconut flesh that they scraped out of this coconut. This is really good stuff right here. It's just all natural right here. Oh yeah, nice, beautiful, subtle coconut aroma to it. Nice and soft, it's not chewy. Again, the coconut's not too sweet. Surprisingly, the coconut water is sweet. The meat and the, the ice cream is actually not, not too sweet. Nice and, and subtle coconut aroma to it, beautiful. So rich and milky. I love that blend, that cold, rich, milky blend. No wonder why people rave about this, because it's incredible. I'm gonna try them both together with the coconut ice cream and the mung bean and the red bean together. See what that tastes like. Mm. See that coconut ice cream is definitely just takes over everything. I can eat this and not have any toppings, you know, just the coconut itself. It's just full of flavor and rich with goodness. It has a little flag too, I surrender. Make sure you give this a shot when you come here because it's definitely well worth it. This looks really interesting. It's kind of like a little tree. It's called Myangkam. It's kind of this leaf that's wrapped with all these little ingredients inside with lemon and ginger and onions, peanuts. You've got some, some sugar there and also coconut. That's some like dry coconut pieces in there. You can see her just wrapping them up and putting it on a skewer like that. I'm really intrigued on what this tastes like. Oh yeah, oh, wow. There's too many flavors to name. You know, you get a burst of citrusy lemon, you get a burst of sweetness, that sugar, that looks like some kind of dark sugar. And this leaf itself is like a minty flavor, a nice crispy, kind of chewy mint, like coconut aroma, everything just bursting together. It's really good. It's very sweet, but that lemon definitely freshes everything up. This leaf itself has a minty flavor to it. I really enjoy that leaf actually. It has a kind of like a toughness to it. It's not like a regular mint leaf where it's really easy to chew. It's actually nice and hard. It gives it a nice crisp to it. I would consider it like a dessert because it's so sweet. It's funny because all the flavors in it, it's just all different flavors. Everything is just so contradicting. You got the lemon and then you got the sugar and you got the ginger and onion, which is the spice. And then this leaf itself has its own aroma to it. Let's undo her hard work. She's wrapped it up all gently. Oh, look at this. Look at all that kind of syrup. It looks like honey, but it's, she said it was sugar. And then you, you see the pieces of the peanut, the ginger, the, the onion, and look at that lime, the lime with the peel on it, which is what makes it so citrusy and so acidic. But that's definitely what takes away from all that sweet flavor, that sugar flavor, because that is definitely overwhelming. But this, this lemon, I can definitely taste the, the thickness of the lime peel that kind of just overtakes everything. All that other stuff kind of just enhances the flavor, makes it a little easier to handle. It's definitely not what I thought it would taste like. I thought it would be a little bit more salty, but it's actually extremely sweet. Mmm. So you can buy them that she's made for you to, to, to take away, or you can actually buy these packets that have all the ingredients are like that, and you can just take it home and make it yourself. I would prefer her to make it for me because she looks like she's an expert in doing it. Yeah, she does it so quick. Everything just, all the ingredients just go in. It's already skewered for you and they just, you can just eat it here or you can take it home. Next time you're in Bangkok, be sure to check out this market. Whether you come here for the food, for shopping or just to enjoy the atmosphere, this market really has something for everyone. And the good thing is it's conveniently located near the MRT and the BTS stations. I'm going to link everything down below. Remember, you've only got one life. Live it.